It's always fun to see historical architectural treasures find new purpose. Our man Mike Randall catches up with a local businessman who clearly has a good eye combing the old and the new. When he wanted to expand the family biz. So when we put them on you, you are going to look great. Optician Joe Batten had a clear vision. There you go. Beautiful. Nicely done. Joe's father started Batten Eye Care in 1952. Joe's son, Joe Jr., make that Dr. Joe, was the third generation to join. And that has great value in itself, to see somebody carry on three generations. Father and son designed and opened their Hamburg store eight years ago. And we literally physically built the inside of the building and designed everything in here. Look closely and you'll see Western New York history, like these doors from Whaley Electric. These are over 100 years old. These are all lead glass. Those light fixtures are familiar. The lighting, the overhead lighting came out from the Buffalo Convention Center when they reconstructed that. This flooring is from Marine Midland Bank. That door is from Fredericks of Hollywood. And those display cases are the flooring from rigidized steel. Here's the original vault door from the Federal Reserve Building, which Joe got because. Just because. <laughs> those table bases were ice crystals at the Superman ride at Darien Lake. We cut them all up and we made table legs out of them because it was something different to do. There are even some historic treasures in the garden. These rocks are from the Erie Canal. But Joe's most eye-catching piece began as a puzzle when he was picking up his new sign at Atlas Steel. There's a pile of rubble in the corner and we must have walked by it 50, 60 times. They were going to throw it out, so Joe took it. My daughter and I came in here. We spent three days cleaning every piece. When they pieced it together, it revealed a fireman's cross. And according to a local historian, this cross was displayed at the Pan American Exposition in 1901. They lost it. It was never recovered until 1951. And then it was lost again in a card game between two fire departments. And it resurfaced again in that at, at 70 Tondawanda Street in that pile. Seeing value in Western New York's past and recovering discarded treasures, should be no surprise that it takes an optician to have an eye for that. We framed it. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.